Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the M3 Market Update. My name is Melody Wright, and I do this show to give you context for the information you're receiving out there around residential and commercial real estate. Welcome back. Uh, what we know about real estate is that it's local and residential and actually commercial as well. Um, and it's important to look at micro as well as macro. And in that vein, I track 82 cities each week, um, looking at different metrics for those cities. Today, what I promised you guys is an update on all of those cities and existing home sales. So we got existing home sales this morning and for, you know, housing bears, it was not a great moment in terms of we basically blew through the 22 National Association of Realtors home price. Uh, we are at 419300 for a median home price. And so, you know, interestingly, and I think is the right reaction, um, uh, the media is focusing, except for the Wall Street Journal, which, as you guys know, they share an owner with uh, Realtor.com. Uh, they were out, not even, I, we got the breaking news and the alert came. That story was written before uh, the press release, I can tell you that much. Um, but breaking news came out from the Wall Street Journal, but other press really picked up on the fact that sales were down. Now, you guys know I shared my projections at the end of the last show. I projected that we would see a negative 1.30% year over year for existing home sales and a 12.90% month over month increase. Um, we came in really close to that at a negative 1% year over year per NAR. And I am only talking about non-seasonally adjusted numbers. I do not care about getting uh, involved in their game of um, you know seasonal adjustments, which I've decided basically what that is, is they, mess, they make a really bad call at the beginning of the year. And then they have to adjust each month, especially because of the season. And, and you know, I've, I've shown the chart here. I just posted it again on Twitter, but there is a seasonal arc in housing. Uh, home prices went up in 2007 and 2008. That this just is the way that it, you know the season goes. And additionally, here what we're seeing is those home prices are going up because who is able to transact are those in the top 20 percent, or you know, and we just don't have enough folks in, in doing distressed selling right now. Now, what we are starting to see is a motivated selling. Now, going back to my projections, uh, so existing home sales down 1% year over year per NAR and up 12.20% month over month. So very close. And I'll be able to you know, continue to look at the Redfin cities as long as that data is still available and give projections. Now, you know what this tells me more and more each time um, that I'm looking at the series and my series of 82 cities is that Redfin hardly has any new builds guide, guys. And so again, not representative of the entire market. Now looking forward to new home sales next week, I'll do a show that day as well. But based on Zellman's survey, um, that's not looking so great. In fact, May is far below the average in terms of home price increases, because typically again, we're in the high season. This is when you would want to see things, you know, you wanna see sales up, you wanna see prices up. But today, I'm really excited about what I, I can share with you because uh, this is some guys, I, you know, each month we just get stronger and stronger with the data. And this is going to be a great foundation um, for the years ahead, because if, you know, if I'm right and barring an exogenous event, this will take a very long time to play out, probably won't even, you know, get done till uh, really the end of this decade. So Thank you for joining and uh, excited to share this data with you. I'm going to present, I'm going to share my screen and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully everybody is going to be able to see this. Uh, I made some changes. If not, we're, you know, I'm just going to keep trying guys. That's really all I can do. So, okay, here we go. All right. Um, so here, I'm just going to, I'm going to, uh, Stay on this slide for just a second, and then I'm going to move and so that you guys can be looking at the different city uh, table while I'm telling you the updates. But um, again, tis the season, tis the season. Let's talk about home prices um, in August. Let's see what's happening there. Let's see if we're having an outsized move. 
Either way, my belief is that I think we'll track similarly to 2008, where you know we're right along the average in terms of sales, but then we turn a corner later in the summer. And I just that is my belief based on what I've seen on the road. That's my belief based on the inventory out there. And then also my belief based on what I'm seeing in my mortgage client books and then what I learned recently on my trip to Nashville. Now, anything can happen. And believe me, anything will happen if this Freddie closed in second program gets out there that could delay things. But, um, you know, again, kicking the can. But we shall see. Um, that's the trajectory that I see right now. Um, but just know that even during the GFC, we saw increases. Let's see what happens after the season. I think we're all going to be able to tell what's going on. Okay, so this is uh, these. What I'm about to talk to you about are these are all cities where sales were increasing. Okay, year over year. So I'm going to talk about those first and then we'll go to where and we're starting to see some trends and patterns. And, you know, there each city is going to have its own pattern, its own trend. But there are some national trends as well. That we hope to glean by diving into these cities. OK, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. OK, this is where sales are increasing. OK, three cities in California made the top five in year over year increases in home sales. That's Carlsbad. Uh, San Ramon and Ventura. Um, Brattleboro, Vermont, I can never say that town, sorry guys, is on the move with highest week over week inventory increases and top five increase in year over year price. Now, I, I mentioned this last week, or it was this week already, sorry, <laughs> about the flooding in Vermont. Um, so just, I think that's what's going on there as well as Vermont, I mean, it's beautiful, and, but there's a lot of boomers with second homes up there. Uh, it's, it's really, uh, gosh, one of the most beautiful places in the country. But I do think we're seeing motivated selling. Now, what it, what am I saying is the, the difference between motivated versus distressed? Like motivated to me is just, hey, you know what? Mm, I, I was thinking about getting out of this house or I have a second home. Now is the time to do it. Whereas distressed is I have no other choice. And we are definitely seeing one thing I saw when I was doing delinquency reviews for mortgage books is the increase in payoffs. Now, um, that means that the loan gets paid off typically through a sale. And so that's going to go up in this, the highest, the month where I saw that high was last year in June as well. And that's going to happen because this is the selling season. But it also happens in times of distress, um, as people are out there motivated selling before uh, that delinquency, before that referral to foreclosure, and definitely saw that in my client books this month. Um, okay, so San Ramon was number four for increase in year-over-year -year sales, as well as number three for the highest median price and lowest days on market. Um, you know, it's very interesting, these increases in uh, California, while at the same time, we're definitely seeing some slowing there as well. So very city dependent. Ventura was number one last month for increase in year versus year sales in the top five again, but notably had a negative 7.36% decrease in median sale price. So to me, what that says about Ventura is uh, what's moving out there is these homes with uh, price reductions. And generally, that is what we're seeing around the country as well. Indianapolis oddly takes the spot for the homes with the highest percent of uh, price drops. I They already have a very low um, home price. So that is interesting to me. If anybody has any clues on that, please leave me a com comment. And then let's just keep an eye on Bentonville and Rochester. Something is definitely up in both places with low days on market, increases in inventory, while Bentonville is number two for year over year decrease in sales. So Let's keep an eye on those two markets. Okay, now I want to talk about um, basically where sales are decreasing year over year. Okay, um, it's, and I wanted to get, just give some general notes uh, as to what's going on there. So, um, twenty of my eighty-two cities had year-over-year -year price declines. Now that's up from twelve last year. So what I believe is happening is we're getting momentum here. And this includes three cities in California, El Cajon, Encinitas, and Palm Springs, and three in Florida, Winter Garden, Rosemary Beach, and Fort Myers. 
Okay. Um, 54 cities had year over year decreases in sales up from 26 last month. So double the amount. And in this guys, we're exiting the season, but I think that we're exiting the season a little early in some places just because people just simply cannot afford it. Um, and so six of those were in California, El Cajon, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, Ventura, and Palm Springs. Seven in Florida. I won't read all of those out, but Miami is right there. West Palm Beach. Now, I, I, there's a couple of trolls <laughs> from West Palm that, um, yeah, I don't keep up with that stuff, but it, this is kind of interesting to see. And then something is definitely going on in Arizona, guys. Um, three in Arizona had these month over month decreases in prices Sedona, Tucson, and Scottsdale. I had a follower list or tell me that in Sedona, he's seeing um, vacancies for short-term rentals. And he said, even more, yeah, of course it's hot there right now, but typically those were booked last year. So something is definitely going on in uh, Arizona. It, it's high time. I mean, they have just, the amount of inventory I saw there in February 23, worse than Austin. And so nothing has made sense there for a long time. So it'll be very interesting. Um, so we had 33 cities had de month over month decreases in prices up from 23 last month, uh, including again, six in California. Um, and sorry, I think I, th this is where I was talking about Arizona is in these decreases in prices as well. Um, but also they had decreases in sales. Then we had 23 cities had month over month decreases in sales up from 12 last month. Um, and so this is, you know, these, I feel like you're definitely seeing, uh, exiting the season. Um, these, uh, what I would call, you know, vacation hotspots in California and then Florida, we know that their season typically ends in April. And so this makes sense. Um, you know, but with all that inventory down there, that is going to be a problem. And then Myrtle Beach and well, two in South Carolina had these decreases in sales, but Myrtle Beach guys is in some trouble. We'll talk about that um, in a little bit. So, okay, move, I'm going to move on to these city specific and I'll show you the chart of or the table here. Okay. Um, so this is where sales are decreasing uh, Sevierville and Bentonville both in the top spots again this month for a decrease in year over year sales. Now, Sevierville, we know, is a short term rental hotspot, over 8,000 short term rentals there. If you go, you will ask yourself why. Um, it, now, everybody talks about how it's recession proof down here in Tennessee uh, because people will go to Dollywood. Uh, guys, I can tell you nothing is recession proof, and people across the South are struggling right now. Um, you can look at any charts of delinquency and see that the South is they are they are having the impacts harder than anywhere else. So not recession proof. Um, Sevierville also had the highest decrease uh, for month over month sales and decreases in month month prices. So, you know, very interesting. This is going to be a, a, an important city to watch when thinking about the short term rental craze. Now, Cape May, number three for decreases in year-over-year -year sales, while also being number five for increases in year-over-year -year price. Okay, so what's going on in Cape May? Um, the price is going on. <laughs> Nobody's going to pay those prices. Now, it's the high season there in terms of, um, you know, people visiting the beach. Let's see again in August what go, what what starts happening there. Um, definitely seen some interesting moves in Cape May and Galveston. These are both you know, beach towns, resort towns. Uh, I mean, Galveston, not really, but it's close to South Padre. But uh, Galveston, number four for year over year decreases in sales while being way below the national average for increases in sales month over month. Still positive, but below that national average. And inventory there has increased 47.21% year over year. And then finally, Myrtle Beach. Oh, Myrtle Beach. So uh, you guys know that I was there um, recently and just the amount of inventory was staggering. And it's also, I just remember hearing people on FinTwit talking about how, you know, how there wasn't a problem there. Guys, there, there are problems ahead. 
It's number two. It was number two last month for a decrease in year over year sales. It also takes a top spot this month while being in the top five for decreases in year over year price and number one for the highest days on market. Um, so lots going on here, guys. And, um, you know, I hope that you find this information helpful. Additionally, I hope that you can give me some intel about some of these spots where I don't have a real clear idea of what's going on. So a um, couple of things that I added. First, we'll go to the frozen, hot, and on the move. Um, this just, again, these definitions, and I mean, you know, for now, they're arbitrary, but frozen is negative or low month over month sales. Um, hot is positive month over month sales while on the move. Um, this are cities where inventory is increasing. And now I have two other slides. I think you're going to like even more than this one. Um, I just got to come up with a clever name, but frozen, um, Sevierville, Sedona, Fort Myers, Wexford County, Palm Springs, Rochester, West Palm Beach, El Cajon, Portsmouth, Miami, Scottsdale, Myrtle Beach, Tucson, and Coeur d'Alene. So really all over the country uh, is represented here, represented here. Hot, Rattleboro, Portland, Maine, Bozeman, Johnson City, Hoboken, Tupelo, Cape May, Westchester, Boston, Portland, uh, has to be Oregon, right? Because both Portland, sorry about that. <laughs> Seattle, Tampa, Sacramento, and New York. Okay. Um, so what's interesting about New York is it had a year over year price declines, guys. Um, that's, that wasn't huge according to Red Fin, but I find that very interesting. And then on the move, this is where we're seeing inventory, inventory increase. And I am so curious about Rochester right now. Um, Rochester, Minneapolis, and this is Rochester, New York, uh, Portsmouth, Portland, Maine, Brattleboro, Wexford County, Bozeman, Costa Mesa, California, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Coeur d'Alene, uh, San Diego, Huntsville, and San Ramon. So that's interesting about San Diego uh, inventory increasing. So, but honestly, guys, a lot of inventory all over. Uh, I mean, just <laughs> as I mentioned earlier this week, it is it's satisfying. Okay, so uh, sales prices were so what I did here is list cities where sales and prices were down year over year. There's 12 of those. And then sales and prices both are down month over month. There's 14. So sales and prices down year over year. Bentonville, El Cajon, Atlanta, Huntsville, Sedona, San Antonio, Pittsburgh, Wexford County, Michigan, Fort Myers, New York, and Palm Springs, Myrtle Beach. Sales and price down month over month. Rochester, New York, El Cajon, Coeur d'Alene, Sedona, Pittsburgh, Tucson, Fort Myers, Scottsdale, that I misspelled, Sevierville, Palm Springs, Honolulu, that I misspelled as well, <laughs> sorry, Miami, West Palm Beach, and Myrtle Beach. I was trying to get ready. I did a spaces earlier with Rudy. Uh, I'll, you know, um, I'll, maybe I'll post that to the YouTube um, chat, but uh, so was rushing a little bit. Apologies there. Okay. And then here, this is interesting. Sales are up, but prices are down. Um, and that's what this slide is. We'll do year over year, month over month. Uh, there's 16 uh, year over year where sales are up, but prices are down. And there's 19 where sales are up and prices down month over month. Uh, Rochester, New York, Carlsbad, Minneapolis, Portland, Costa Mesa, Orlando, Newport Beach. Newport Beach was a surprise to me. We have not seen prices down there. This is in California. It's a very wealthy area and um, kind of satisfying as well to be able to say to a certain California resident, um, I won't mention any names, that not every city in California was seeing uh, increases in home prices. And this is year over year, not just month over month. Um, Ventura, California, Washington, D.C., Nashville, Chicago, Tucson, C Scottsdale, Sevierville, Boca Raton, Miami, West Palm Beach, Destin. Again, Miami. Um, so sales are up, but prices are down in these cities. And then here, sales up and prices down month over month. Uh, and this is where, honestly, I think, you know, this is motiva motivated selling, in my opinion. So Bentonville, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Minneapolis, Portland, Maine, Kansas City, Missouri, Costa Mesa, California, Orlando, Florida, Newport Beach, Ventura, Washington, D.C., Huntsville, San Antonio, Nashville, Chicago, Rosemary Beach, that 
that that was um huge year of year decline for Rosemary Beach, uh, Boca Raton and Destin. Okay, guys, so there's a lot happening. I do believe we are we are turning a corner where fundamentals are starting to uh, be in control and not just FOMO. And I feel like enough people have kind of um, realized they're not falling for these tricks anymore. They're not paying these ridiculous prices. Uh, but, you know, the Wall Street Journal and their article about hitting that record, and it is a record. It, I mean, this is the highest we've seen home prices. Um, all they talked about was the shortage of inventory. Again, guys, I really believe that this has been one big snow job. Um, based on what I have seen out there and, you know, and they're going to continue with that narrative until the very end, until there is absolutely no way um, that they can deny it. And so, but stay focused, stay tuned because we are seeing fundamental shifts that inventory and, and people can say, oh, well, not back to 2019 levels. You go into these cities, many of them are already way blowing past 2019. But again, if pocket listings and private note sales are as big as I think they are, then that's what, that's why inventory looks down from NAR. And if people stop and think about it from here, I think I saw something very interesting in Arizona. All of the cities saw huge drops in inventory. I think there's a data issue or something that we need to be thinking about and looking for are certain MLSs that might be decoupling from realtor.com. And so I think that there's probably a larger amount that don't syndicate to them than they're because they never answered that question. But I think you're going to start to see um, MLSs decouple. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, but thanks again for joining. It's now summer. I hope everyone is having a wonderful summer. We're going to have a busy week next week. We get new home sales. I cannot wait for that. Um, that way we can look at the, com the combined sales tracker. But again, what we're hearing right now is that those are going to disappoint. We shall see. Um, but thanks so much for joining me. Again, I hope you're having a great summer. Uh, for questions, the fastest way to reach me is on X Twitter at M3 underscore Melody, M-E-L-O-D-Y. Uh, you can reach me here at M3 Melody YouTube and M3 Melody Substack. You know, number go up, guys, until it doesn't. And there is just no, in my opinion, no bull on housing can answer how are wages going to increase enough for people to afford these homes and the top 10% cannot sustain the housing market. So thanks again, guys. I hope you're having, um, I said it already. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Have a, have a great weekend guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.